Hi. So on today's episode, we're talking about expectations. I grew up with only one expectation, and that expectation was to get an education of some sort. It didn't even matter if it was college, university. The only thing was get an education. On the flip side, I've heard friends talk about their parents um, saying, oh, you have to come be a medical doctor, or you have to be a computer scientist, or something, something. Um, I didn't have any of those expectations. I've heard my female friends talk about oh their parents taught them taught the girls to cook because it was what they um, they were supposed to learn to keep a man to keep a household together or something. But um, I didn't grow up with any of those expectations. I've also heard friends say oh yeah when they were growing up their parents used to tell them that um, if they if they were not maybe first in the class like top of the class their parents would tell them oh those that came first do they have two heads i didn't grow up with any of those expectations you get there so as i navigate this adult street i am learning and unlearning some things um but here are some advantages and disadvantages to being a child who is not an adult who grew up with zero expectations one i trust my own judgment like absolutely because i grew up making my own decisions because i grew up being my own um like routine for myself literally i know that if i make a decision whatever decision i make is the best at that time for me and if it's not the best tomorrow guess what i always learn i live with my decisions so that's something for sure that I learned I, I learned as a child that has been tremendous to me as an adult I just absolutely love it um these expectations of oh you have to be a medical doctor or you have to be a scientist or something it wasn't something I grew up with which gave me the flexibility to try different things I, I went to law school um, I learned how to do hair um, I learned how to do makeup at some point don't judge my makeup i'm not the best anymore but this is like what almost 12 years ago um yes um i learned um i went back to school for for filmmaking um i'm currently in the military so having no expectations has given me the freedom to just try different things and explore and Whatever I like, I did. Whatever I didn't like, I had no issue, like, just moving on. Of course, time wasted, maybe, but, yeah, that, that for me, is, is huge. Um, I had zero expectations when it comes to classes and school. So, I went to Mayflower when I was in primary four, and, um, the very first semester in primary four, I didn't really do all that. I can't even remember what it was but my second term at the school i think out of like a hundred and something students or almost 200 students from that class i was um i placed uh number 25 and i remember how happy i was i was like what you say you say hey i'm a smart child i took my result home like expecting my mom to be like yes this child is a good child my mom was like oh okay good i ate i was like maybe if i if i you know push it a little forward she will she will you know do something because people were always like talking about how oh their parents bought this for them because they did this or or friends would say oh because they they performed poorly their parents didn't let them watch tv the entire break and i was like no no watch tv it wasn't like that in my house i just didn't grow up like that so the third term right i actually like i was I was number eight and I remember um, Anton Gozi, my teacher came to me like oh my god Mutumayo, congratulations you're a good child I'm proud of you As I was happy I was ready for my mom to be proud of me too. so I carried my result and I went home and I showed my mom my result and I was like good job that was it I did not get preferential treatment I did not get nothing like nothing so when I saw that, you know, if you if you're 25, it's nothing. If you're number eight, it's nothing. If I'm first, it will be nothing. And so I just um, let's just say I became the very middle forward student. <laughs> you know, I wasn't completely in the middle, but I was always like somewhere at the 
you know at the top but not completely at the top but yeah so i feel like if i had that expectations of you know um oh if you if you if you don't do this you will not get this as a child i would have studied more i would have pushed myself harder but at that time i guess i would have pushed myself harder to be more educationally inclined but right now as an adult therapy has helped me know or helped me learn that i have i push myself more than the regular person my age and i'm not kind to myself with how hard i push myself um just because people i feel like people don't have expectations of me my expectations of me are so high that i feel like i'm making up for the expectation that people don't that i think that people should have of me that they don't have yeah so i'm i'm not the best person when it comes to the unrealistic expectations that i place on myself but i'm learning to be kind and kinder to myself so because i so because i had no expectations when it comes to education i pushed myself a little harder my mom stopped somewhere in i think middle school so she's not like western educated educated um so of course my 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 plan as a child was to make sure i finished high school and then it became college and now it's like i have to get my master's somebody says i'm gonna get a phd and i'll say that somebody is wrong because the phd i have to leave for my children so you know how to do their mother <laughs> um but yeah i don't think i'm getting a phd no um so yeah that phd you ain't going it's not gonna happen so something else that i would say has been an advantage to being a child that grew up with an expect with no expectation is i have zero expectations of people which can be good or bad depending on how you say it uh, good in the sense that I don't feel entitled to, to people's time, their resources, like who they are as, as an individual. I just, I don't feel entitled to it. So it helped me learn the power of getting no as an answer without having an explanation. You know, people say, oh yeah, you're my friend. I asked you for help and you said no. Why? To me, no is completely fine. Like and you don't have to explain the reason for your no if you tell me yes that's fine if you tell me no that's fine either ways you do not absolutely have to explain yourself to me because i don't feel like you owe me anything so yeah that's one uh, that's something that i i like that being a child with no expectations has helped me process as, a, as an adult i would say but yeah um but having zero expectations of people also means that i have lost opportunities because i don't feel comfortable or because i feel like they don't owe me this i don't ask so i know for sure i've lost opportunities um having zero expectations of people also means i don't ask for help yeah i will literally I literally always almost try to do everything by myself, but in these adult streets, in this world really, um, I'm learning at this point, at this very old age, that I cannot always do everything by myself and it is okay to ask for help. I think one thing for me right now that I'm trying to do is ask, I'm learning to ask for the little things right now because I still don't feel comfortable asking for bigger things so i start with the i'm starting with the little ones to until i get to that part where i'm like okay come on buy me a tesla and me not asking for help also means that i push myself the extra mile like it means i i'm not kind to myself when i don't meet the expectations that i think that people have of me or that I have of myself, my expectations of myself, ladies and gentlemen. Very, 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 very high stuff. Yeah, my hands are still going. But yeah, I have very high expectations of myself. And um, yeah, sometimes I just, 
I don't know when to stop pushing and I've had issues with that so but therapy is helping so we're I'm learning it I'm learning one day at a time so I realized recently that because I didn't have expectations of people, right? I didn't have expectations of God either. I didn't grow up in a religious household. I think by now we all can agree that I grew up in a very, very interesting and very different household. So I found out recently that my having no expectation also actually extended all the way to God. Um, I didn't grow up in a very traditional Yoruba or religion influenced household. Yes, my mom is spiritual. Now she, I think she's becoming religious, but she's not really a religious person. Um, so this is to say I didn't grow up with the ideology that God, you know, will do something for you if you do this. I just grew up with the, if you're kind to people, kindness should come to you, not will come to you. Um, if you go to school, you should be able to get a job or do something with your life. Um, but very recently, my friend started applying to new job position, new job roles. And one of the places she applied to actually called her back to have her um, apply to a different role, actually like a higher role than she want, than the one she was actually applying for. And when she told me about it, like something in me absolutely believed that she was worth this new position the way offering her, even though she was like doubting herself, like completely doubting herself. So as the dream supporter, as the friend that I am, I encourage her to, you know, be prepared. I ginger the spirits. I sent her the words of affirmation she needed. Um, like I literally absolutely without a doubt believe that she could actually get that position and she did get the position you already know i was like the happiest person ever so yes of course and i was happy but i think a couple days after that um i remember seeing a silent prayer that like, god please just do this for me and i heard that voice say why like why and i had no i had no and i I mean, that little voice was like, why? I had no answer to it, but it was also like, I knew that even though I'd asked for it, I wasn't believing what I was asking for. Like I just, I literally wasn't. It's actually very interesting because now I believe in people more, a little bit than I believe in myself. Like I would pray for people and like, I would know when that thing will happen for them but if you ask me to pray in the same way for myself there is a part of me that absolutely is not expecting anything from the prayer that i pray for myself yeah so i i i don't know if I know it's because I didn't grow up with an expectation. I know for sure it's because I didn't have expectation of people. But I, I just didn't know that having no expectation also extended to having no expectations of God. And I want that to change. Let me know in the comment section if you're like me and you struggle with having expectations of God. If you've had it in the past, please share with me how you overcame it because I'm trying to overcome mine. Um, but yeah, what are some general expectations that you grew up with as a child that either is helping you as an adult or you totally wished was anything in your life as an adult? Until next time, whatever it is you want to do, maybe have better expectations of people, of yourself, have less expectations of people, of yourself whoever it is you want to become all you have to do is start have a good one